Hello everyone, and welcome to the Rishi Stronghold, the newest stronghold that's been added to Star Wars The Old Republic. Strongholds are part of the game's player housing, and this specific housing is very unique compared to the other strongholds that have been released to date. In this video, I'll be giving a tour of the stronghold as well as showing off many of the features, some of which are fairly complex, and how they work. If you don't have a player housing in Star Wars The Old Republic yet, this one is going to be extremely expensive as it's meant more for players who have reached endgame, have saved up lots of credits, and really want to explore the cosmetic side of things. If you're a new player, you can always pick up a very inexpensive player stronghold in the Strongholds and Crew Skills section of the fleet. Imperial players can pick up Droman Costs for about 50,000 credits, and Republic players can pick up Coruscant for the same amount. The Rishi Stronghold costs 3 million credits to unlock just to get the basic area to even be able to enter the stronghold at all, or it costs about 2,650 cartel coins. The entire stronghold altogether will cost you, give or take, about 16 million credits if you want to unlock every single room, so hopefully you've been saving up for a while for this one. This stronghold is really focused on player versus player combat and the scenery and feeling of the Rishi planet that was released with the Shadow of Revan expansion. As you can see, there is a lot of beach theme and the second theme is a pirate haven. It's actually called the Rishi, I believe, pirate hideout, something like that. And right away in the beginning of the stronghold, there's a couple features you want to check out. This terminal right here, if you ever want to see the pretty cinematic we just watched, play again. Just press it and you can enter it as many times as you want. This one right here will allow you to exit the Rishi Stronghold if you don't know how to get out of here. Or you can return to whatever location you were at, to your starship or to the fleet. This area right ahead is the dueling arena downstairs area where players who enjoy player versus player combat can really take advantage of this stronghold. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of terminals in this area. Only players who have a key to the stronghold can use these, so if you invite friends over, if you want to make sure they can use them, make sure to give them a key, and if you have any random guests, you don't have to worry about them messing with your stronghold. So if you press these smaller blue buttons, the controls, it will lock anyone who's in here inside of the arena. So it's perfect for dueling, no one's accidentally going to go out of bounds, and no one else can interfere. And just the same way you can get out. Ta-da! And so if you invite a friend over here, it will automatically be a player versus player combat area. Now, if you want to be able to change that, you can open your stronghold options right here. It's a new button and you can set it to enable stronghold PvP, PvP by default, or you can turn it off if you don't want to have PvP in your stronghold, if you just like the Rishi atmosphere and want to be able to decorate it for your own personal house. Up here is a really good viewing area for the dueling, other than the little purple screen. You can see pretty much everything. I've seen lots of people putting uh, useful items right here, like cargo bays and banks and stuff like that. Now, over here is some very nice buttons. So, their first one that we have here is a bolster. It's the big one. This allows all players to be on roughly even footing. So, let's say you don't have very good gear. As long as you have a piece of gear in every slot, this terminal will bolster you and make your character stronger temporarily. So if you have two friends with very different gear scores, one maybe plays all the time, one's just visiting for the weekend, they can both use this terminal to practice dueling on about even footing. Now the second button is very, very cool, and it's a step up from that dueling platform. You get to take advantage of this little tiny droid, and this droid will not interfere with any combat that is going on in this area. It's a very passive, almost ghost-like droid that allows you to watch everything. It has two different options. There's disconnect, which will kick me out of the droid, and camera mode, which will turn off all the busyness right there. So if you wanted to maybe record people dueling, this would be the perfect option. You can press Alt-Z to get rid of all of the interface. You can do that anytime. This button just toggles the blue stuff on and off for this little droid. Now, I did have some bugs earlier where I couldn't get out of the droid. If you happen to get stuck and these buttons are missing, you can just go jump off the side of the platform and uh, as soon as you get far enough, it will disconnect you automatically. 
very cool little droid to have. It was uh, actually added by player request, so players could better see when friends were dueling instead of just kind of behind this screen right here. So let's go check out the rest of the stronghold. If you notice, uh, you get kicked off your speeder in this area. Not a huge deal. They also added a nice little bridge over here. So this is the area where you originally load in. And if you don't want to go into the dueling arena part, but you want to go to the other parts of the stronghold, you can just kind of skip around it. So let's head to the beach before we head into the actual stronghold, because there are some very, very neat features. If you happen to have watched another video I did about the Rishi stronghold, that was on the private test server, and not all of the features were added. For example, one of the big changes was that this beach was actually black sand, which is Rishi's natural kind of sand. That's what's there by lore, by geology, stuff like that. But players really wanted a beach, a white sands beach, a luxury beach. So the developers actually listened and added this beach. Um, as you can see, a lot of the flora and fauna are very tropical, the kind of stuff you'd see on the actual Rishi planet. Very relaxing kind of atmosphere out here. You can see crash ships in the background. What's also neat is there are hooks in the distance that you can place large decorations onto. Of course you can play with the different layouts if you need a different size. You might have to zoom out a bit to actually be able to see all the hooks. Don't worry, I'm sure there's something coming up that might be very useful to you if you want to see those hooks. Another feature of this beach is our lovely little friend Speedy. Speedy is a turtle. He was actually a cartel market pet. I guess somewhere along the line decided that he would be an automatic feature of every Rishi's stronghold. He comes with the uh, original unlock, so you don't have to pay more than 3 million credits if you want to visit your own little Speedy. There are some secret achievements for this stronghold. I will not spoil them in this video, but there is one involving this adorable little guy. Also in this area, there's a bunch of other tiny secrets you might want to check out. First one over here is just a neat little kind of montage. There's a pirate skeleton, there's a treasure box and a shovel, and some uh, bottles of <laughs> Star Wars liquor. There's also something very neat over here, and you may miss it if you're just running around and didn't notice it. Uh, this has also changed a lot from what the stronghold originally had on the private test server. Uh, once you press this button, you actually have to detonate it now. Or rather, unlock it. Now here's why we don't have an exact price for the entire stronghold. We're guessing it's going to be around 16 million coins, uh, credits. This section only costs 120,000 credits right now, but the developers have kind of given it as a thank you for everyone providing feedback. We're guessing it's going to be somewhere between 800,000 credits to 2 million credits. We don't know until the next patch. So if you're watching this a few months later, sorry you missed out on the deal. If you're watching this right now, go pick it up now. If you're planning on getting the Rishi Stronghold, you're probably going to be saving a lot. So first off, there's this just neat little area right here. You can't put a ton. It'd be a really good place for a secret shrine or something like that. I can uh, put a little tent here. I can put giant statue, whatever you think would go good there. But there is also ooh, this little area. This was also not part of the original stronghold. The developers added it after players asked for more uh, a homier space, like an actual place where your player might rest or sleep or stay or cook, I guess. And uh, a lot of the area is very based on the Rishi's kind of shanty town. There isn't a lot of nicer areas to sleep there. So they added this Rishi stronghold apartment overlook and it has a couple of rooms. So just a lot homier space. So if you want to stick your bed decorations or your couch decorations, this would be the perfect spot. And this area here. And it also has a really nice overlook of the beach. This uh, would be a really great place to put your cantina or to put some couches for your character to relax. Or if you put a big ol' decoration right here, you'll probably be able to see it when you load in all the way over there. Once again, another really cool hit hook hidden up here. And you can see those hooks out in the ocean a lot better up here. Another cool feature that they've added to the game that wasn't here originally is these bind points. 
if you want your character to load up here instead of all the way down there, you want them to load in this nice overlook area, you can actually click this bind point and you'll set your character's load in area. I believe there might also be one down near the dueling area and there will be another one in another area we're going to check out. So let's uh, actually go swimming. We'll just uh, kill ourselves and start over. Oh gosh, didn't kill me. So apparently you can jump down from there. So now we're gonna head deeper into the actual stronghold. This is probably one of the largest strongholds that has been added to the game to date. So here we go. Next room to unlock can cost either 2 million credits or 1,800 cartel coins. So just a, a basic area room. Whatever you want to put in here would be good. Uh, it's one of the few indoor areas that's down on the ground here. A small antechamber room. And when you pay that 2 million credits, you actually unlock this whole outside area over here. This is the large uh, area that's outside the stronghold. A lot of the other unlocks on the ground are very, very small. So if you're trying to ration your credits, maybe you don't have that many, you've been saving up really hard, you don't have to worry too much about unlocking the next couple rooms that I'm going to show you. The first one is located right here, right off of the bridge that we just crossed to get to this area. And it costs 825,000 credits or 600 cartel coins. It's a very, very small room. You may even recognize the layout from exploring various Star Wars The Old Republic locations. Yeah, it's just a small, nice uh, room with a lamp already built in. If you don't like this giant hook right here, of course, you can change the layout. It doesn't have the best hook placement in the world, but it's pretty good. I'll show you the hooks in this area. Really huge outdoor area. Lots of little places you can climb uh, nooks and crannies. Here's another one of those bind points so you can decide if you want to load in in this area instead. Maybe you set up a large open air market or something like that over here. Lots and lots of hooks in this area. I, I do think I like this area's hook placements the most out of the entire stronghold. And here is another little area, kind of like a secondary overlook, I guess you could say. Now there is a second achievement, secret achievement, apart from that poor, poor adorable little turtles. Uh, oh, I won't say anything else about them. Um, this one involves jumping or exploring, I guess you could say. So if you're the kind of person who likes to jump everywhere, I do recommend continuing to do that in this stronghold. Oh, there we go. Here's the other room that I'm going to show you. This one is very similar to the indoors room that we just saw. This costs 825,000 credits or 600 cartel points. Same thing, except has a really cool open air area. I really like this room. It's uh, very peaceful. I like that you can see all the shadows of the trees on the floor coming down from the roof. So let's see the hooks. Same kind of deal. I think this one has more hooks. It has the two big purple ones on the side. Once again, if you don't like the giant one, you can switch it around. Same hooks on the hallway doors. And this, this area is just really, really big. There's no more rooms to show, but there is a ton of little areas. Like this one comes with that 2 million credit unlock. It's just, you could use it as a band stage. You could use it as a little hideout area. If you come over here, you'll notice there's a an angry critter over here and some type of button that says, caution, do not open. It's always hungry. We'll just leave it be, I think. I'm just going to show you the rest of this downstairs area and then we'll head to the very unique part of this stronghold. If you thought that you've seen some cool stuff so far, there is something extremely cool coming up in the second part of the stronghold. So here's the rest of the area. Nice little hook, I guess you could put something. You can actually see this from the walk to the beach. So here's the ramp where you come down. Let's stuck and go back to the beginning. 
So if you're in your stronghold and you want to get back to the beginning easily, just type slash stuck, S-T-U-C-K, and it will easily get you back. Oh, there's a bunch of hooks on this round column too, that's cool. Alright, so let's check out the next part of the stronghold. Now, this is a entrance to a area, another part of the stronghold. The big flashing arrow means you can unlock it, it's not ready yet. And it costs 1.5 million credits or 1,200 cartel coins. And now it has revealed a button that we can use. So we can actually use this button to easily travel in the stronghold. There's the cove expansion, which is the area, the big outside area, or up to the patrol carrier main deck. I'm not sure if that's a common thing that it kind of bugs out while you're traveling, but it happens to me pretty much every time. If you happen to have played the Ravagers Operation, you may find this ship that we've flown up to quite familiar. It is part of an operation, which is the eight-man content in the game that's meant for max level characters. And you can unlock many rooms here. So this first one is 975,000 credits or 450 cartel coins. It's just a simple little room. It's called the reactor room. It's probably the bigger one that's available. There's lots of little rooms in this part of the stronghold. I'm just going to give you a quick tour down here until I show you the cooler stuff that comes up. This is another large unlock. We've got the port quarters, which is 830,000 credits or 600 cartel coins. Whew, I'm having a hard time with all these big numbers, sorry. There is the captain's quarters, 830,000 again. And these, once again, if you're saving credits, don't worry about these ones that I'm just unlocking now. And here is the bridge. This one's actually really cool for those of you who have wanted to roleplay having a stronghold as a ship. This would be perfect for you to unlock tons and tons of hooks here lots and lots of space to add any type of bridge that you want to create whether it's a republic bridge imperial bridge or a pirate bridge and here's the last one up here once again the little one 825,000, and oh it's so tiny but it has lots of hooks so i'm sure you can make it cozy now here's something that's very cool inside the patrol carrier ship this is a new feature that was added to this game, to the game specifically for the stronghold. This is the training room. It only costs 740,000. If you happen to pl enjoy playing operations, flashpoints, or player versus player, really any end game content that can be difficult, I highly recommend this unlock. As there is a training dummy room. So once again, in this room, here's the bolster. If you want to practice what it would be like being at max level pretty much fully geared uh, if i use it you can see if it's working when this pops up right here you're bolstered and my stats will all go up the next thing you can do is you can activate a training dummy there's the war zone training dummy the operation training dummy and the healing training dummy the war zone training dummy is very focused on player versus player combat and it would be as similar as it can be to fighting another player the operation training dummy is similar to fighting a boss in the end game content like the big bosses that take way more than a couple hits to uh defeat the third one is the healing training dummy and this is what what part is actually very new to the game players didn't really have a great way to practice their healing solo in a training dummy before so we've got the main training dummy and this little enemy. If I was on a healing character, I'm going to insert a video right here, I hope you can see it, of a friend who was testing out how to use it. So what he was doing was he was able to attack this little tiny guy and heal this green guy, the training dummy itself. And the training dummy's health would continue going down, and so you would continue trying to replenish its health as a healer practicing. This also has some really useful uh, 
modulators that you can add to your training dummy. So the first couple are health modulators. They just make it have more health. If you don't want to defeat it right away, if you just want to give it a ton of health so you can really take your time attacking it and practicing your abilities on a long-term scale. The next one is armor reduction. And this is kind of similar to what you would have in a full group with everybody's buffs and everybody's interesting abilities that change up the group dynamics. So you can use this one particularly if you're trying to practice for operations. Now the last two are new and they are the healing modules and the secondary target modules. The first module just increases healing received by 3% and it gives that to the dummy. And the second one is pretty cool. It is the uh, secondary target generator. So when you're healing, you're very rarely healing only one person. You're almost always healing uh, a couple of players, for example, in a war zone or an arena, or seven other players if you're doing an operation. Even a flashpoint, you'd be healing three other players. So it's very useful to enable this secondary target. You just right click it from your inventory. It isn't expensive. I think it was a thousand credits. And you now have two uh, group mates that you could practice healing on while this little guy is attackable. Now we did have a few bugs when we were practicing this. If you uh, have friends over, try and tell them to get out of the training area. We had some problems where the secondary target wasn't healable or both were grayed out and we were able to fix them by telling everyone just to get out. Now we're going to check out the last part of the stronghold. So this one is the most expensive unlock in the stronghold, apart from the initial unlock. It is 2,800,000 credits or 2,000 cartel coins. And it's unlocked. We can now go on the elevator. Now this is very cool and although I'm not a PvPer, I'm really excited about this for my guildmates and for my friends who do enjoy that aspect of the game. So here you go, right when you load in there's another bolster terminal and there is also another one of the terminals to allow you to be in the little droid and I'll show you that in a few minutes again too. So this is what the very special feature of this stronghold is. As you can see, there's a very large area right here, and it's actually set up like a player versus player war zone that you would normally play in the game. It has a couple different options. So let's set it up out here first. So just like the dueling arena downstairs, this will lock all the gates and start one of the two different types of matches. You can choose a death match, which is just uh, players just try and kill each other. There's no tactics or anything like that. No scenarios they have to solve. No mechanics. And the second is hut ball, which is kind of like football, where players have a ball and they try and throw it and pass it or run all the way to the end zones to win. And the first person to get the uh, max of points will win. So let's try the team death batch first. Welcome so everyone to who needs to be inside Arena needs to get inside. I am so your you Deathmaster, Baron <laughs> Deathmark! Two teams have been assembled at random, Rotworms and Frog Dogs! First team to destroy the other team wins each round! Once you're down, you're out until the round's over! Who will be the winners? Who will be the corpses? Audience, <laughs> place your bets! Thank you, Baron Von Deathmark, for explaining how the deathmatch scenario works. Rotworms! All right, so what happens, we'll reset this and I'll show you how you would play with it with your friends. So since I'm the owner of this stronghold, I can, ah, I can end the scenario. Um, let's say you have some friends in here and they don't have a key, they'll be trapped in there until you say so, other than of course slash stacking or exiting the stronghold. If you have friends that you want to set up a match between them, let's say you've got two friends, you want to have them duel to the death, one will come click orange, and one will come click purple. And make sure to give them instructions about which teams they should be on, otherwise people are just going to be like, ooh, shiny buttons, click everything. So now that I've given myself purple, if I don't want to be in this match, I would just stand outside instead. And once I start the terminal, I'm going to do deathmatch again. 
Welcome to Garana As the timer the counts down, since I have purple, dead. I will actually be transported up to the purple platforms. Two teams have been assembled at random, Rockworms and Frog Dogs. First team to destroy the other team wins each round. Once you're down, you're out until the round's over. Who will be the winners? Who will be the corpses? Audience, place your bets! All right, so now that I've chosen purple, I'm transported to the purple platform, and those are actually timers telling me how long I have left to do the match. So how this would go is that if there was another player I had to practice with, there would uh, be a scoreboard up here as well. Right now it's zero to zero. If I happen to kill someone on the other team, I'd get a point here, and if they win, they get a point. Awesome. So now let's check out the hut ball scenario really quick. Obviously you cannot mount in this area. And that's how to end it. Easy peasy, just hit the terminal. Now let's start the hut ball one and I will go on the frog dog team. Yellow orange team. Alright, hot ball. Listen up! These are the rules of hot ball! Two teams, frog dogs and rotworms, chosen by random draw. One ball, slippery as a crease cut. Grab the ball, throw the ball. Get the ball over the opposing team's line any way you can, and your team gets a point. Weapons, name calling, and cheating are all encouraged. But do not kick the ball. Huts don't have feet. Show our sponsor, Garada, the respect he deserves. Rockworms! Frog dogs! So the timer's run out, so I can now head to the center and try and get that hut ball! Ooh, did my hut ball not load in? Well, this has been a bug that some other players have encountered, so there would technically be a hut ball here that you can click. And of course, you can decorate this area just like the rest of the stronghold. And um, we had done some really crazy things, uh, messing around with this area. You could make different types of platforms around this area. You could make little walls. You could do this large, uh, lots of smaller decorations layout. You can put some giant starships in, in the corners here. And what's interesting about this uh, area of the ship is it has a new type of hook that hasn't been in the game yet. This giant orange one is actually called a sky deck arena hook. And I don't have the decoration that can fit here. There's only one, but my guild does. So I'm gonna hop over to that video and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. As you can see, when you click on this orange hook, there's only one decoration available. And as soon as you plunk it down, you can actually run everywhere. And it doesn't stop you from putting down the other types of decorations, those purple hooks that are uh, in the rest of the area. So you can still have this giant ramp and have a lot of the other decorations as well. So this ramp is specifically designed for hut ball matches. Um, it gives the different layers so you can pass and jump and pull and all of that, but it's also probably pretty fun for the deathmatch scenario uh, for players to get a lot of line of sight going on with the different levels of play. And that is pretty much the entire stronghold. Don't forget, in this area, if you want to have your friends watch the match, We'll end this and I'll show you the little droid again. So this is a really, really perfect area to set up a duel between friends or to have a fun stronghold PvP match with just your guildmates or your friends as well. Because not only can people who are PvPers participate, but also those who want to just watch have the perfect opportunity to watch everything. This little droid can jump, it can go up platforms, it can go around decorations, it can go through other players. So anyone who just wants to watch has the perfect opportunity. It's also a really nice opportunity to see how other players play up close without the pressure of actually being in a match. For example, if you've ever been in a player versus player match, you are maybe trying too hard to just not die to actually be able to check out and learn from other players. One last little thing in this stronghold, I'll disconnect here. Explode. Once again, one of those bind points up here. 
There's also these speeders that are scattered around the Shrishi stronghold, and they allow you to quickly travel from one point to another. This one, I believe, will put me down. Oh, what? There's an elevator. I didn't even know about that. That's awesome. If you want a second good viewing area, apparently, one has been baked right in. There is so many, so many little secrets to this stronghold. It kind of boggles my mind. These turrets are mostly just for show. I know there's one you can click and it will fire you out of the ship. So I want to find that before we end this. It's just such a cool area. Even without adding in all the PvP aspects, it's just really, really neat. Here we go. And it says, return to the hideout with haste. That's great! When they were first adding this feature, it didn't have an animation, but uh, yeah, you can definitely tell what it does now. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this tour. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And my big question to you all is, will you be getting the Rishi Stronghold or will you be sticking to your old stronghold? See you guys later, and always, may the Force be with you.